Hi Tech Jotters, welcome to our new video. Today I will show you the process to install and configure ConfiUI on RunPod using NVIDIA GPU. First of all, what is RunPod? RunPod is a cloud platform that offers uh, GPU instances, serverless GPUs, and even AI endpoints. So we will use uh, AI endpoints here. And it allows machine learning uh, AI developers to leverage large GPUs for building applications, okay? So uh, let's get started. First, uh, we need to sign in on the run pod. And we need to top up some balance there. I already did that. So let's go to the run pod first. If I search run pod, it will give me the link. Okay, and if I click on the login button, I already signed in, so it's going there. The next thing is we need to create pods for our ConfUI. I will click pods and it will show two options, GPU pod and CPU pod, okay? Here, I will increase the, uh, you know, font size so that you can easily see on the video click on the gpu pod it'll give me some options to deploy gpu this is the secure cloud it has multiple options uh, these are not available but after a few hours maybe these will be available also and if i go to the community cloud this is the cheaper version of that of the system so here you can actually get a lot of options uh, these are already unavailable so I will not get this maybe when you start you can get this so uh, it depends on your luck actually uh, here the cheapest option is uh, 69 cents per hour I will uh, choose this one 4090 is available I can also deploy 4090 here and here I need to select the Confi UI template so if I put Confi UI it will show me the pod I'm going to select this and I am going to customize this a little bit so I will just put 8188 port here it will be exposed set override and I'm ready to deploy this machine click continue and deploy that's our bad luck. When I was creating the uh, machine, it's uh, somebody already took the 4090 instance, so I cannot uh, use this. So, okay, let's uh, start with RDX 5080A. It's much better. It will take a little bit more money, but it's fine. Uh, I will not run this machine for a long time, so it's fine. I will deploy here and the previously, uh, the previously I set up for 4090 and that's actually, they saved that here. So if I click customization, it's already saved. So I don't need to do anything now. Click continue and click deploy. So it is going to deploy the machine for us and we can use it. When it is uh, actually configuring the pod for us, I'm going to tell you one thing. Some people, one when they create the pods, they want to create the environments, Python environments, and install PyTorch and everything there. Uh, we don't need this actually, because this is a pre-built uh, Confi UI, so they already configured CUDA and uh, Torch everything for us. Okay, so we don't need to do that again. Those are already configured. Now it's already uh, deployed and you can see here it's showing it's running. So that's perfect. If I click on the this blue bot, uh, portal button, sorry, and click connect, it will give me some options to connect. Okay. So you can start web terminal here. It will be a terminal on the browser. Or you can go to the Jupyter Lab and start the terminal. 
whatever you want. I will, uh, for the demonstration purpose, I will click on the Connect Jupyter Lab. Okay. And uh, it will start the Jupyter Lab for us. Okay. I'm going to increase the size. Okay. It'll, I'm going to zoom in actually a little bit. Uh, hopefully, you can now see it perfectly. Now, if you see this workspace, inside this directory, everything will be kept up, okay? If you put anything outside of this workspace directory, it will be deleted. When you uh, stop the server, it will be deleted. So, keep it in mind, uh, you need to be in the workspace uh, directory, okay? Now, uh, if I click on the terminal, it will start the terminal. That's simple. Now, on the left side, you can see there is a directory. Inside the workspace directory, there is a directory for ConfUI. So, ConfUI is already there. If I put ls, it is showing ConfUI. Now, there is a big problem here. This is actually a Docker machine, and they created this Docker few months ago. During that time, ConfUI updated a lot. So this ConfUI is a old version and the ConfUI manager will not work with this. So basically we need to delete this one and we will download it again from the Git repository. Okay. It's clear and simple. We can we will not use this one. We'll download another one. But the Python uh, Torch and CUDA is already there. We don't need to, you know, uh, think about them. Just before uh, deleting this, I'm going to show you that uh, uh, the Torch is already installed or not. So this is a simple command. It will import Torch and it will check whether it can import Torch or not. If it's success, then we are good to go. And you can see it can import Torch. So that means the Torch is already installed. We don't need to install it again. The, now uh, we'll check for the available CUDA core. Okay. That's the main purpose. Because we uh, actually, we are using RunPod, right? So just put enter and it will show true. So that's perfectly perfect. Everything is working fine. So the first thing, we will delete this ConfUI and we will download this from GitHub, Git repository, okay? So the command to remove this is rm minus r ConfUI and it's gone. If I put ls, it's not here. It will be updated in a few seconds. That's it. It's gone. So now we need to download ConfUI, okay? So going there comfy ui and from this repository we'll clone the comfy ui okay so the command is git clone con and the so whenever i, I first uh, try to copy and paste code it uh, it will ask me to allow our block i will allow it so it's done and if i press enter it will actually clone the repository for ConfUI. In a few seconds, you will see ConfUI here. Yeah, here it is here. The next thing is you can do that later, but I want to start, do that now so that I don't need to close and start ConfUI again. I always use ConfUI Manager. So I'm going to download ConfUI Manager now. Here it is. So I will clone this repository, but before that, you can see we need to put that on Confi UI and custom nodes directory. Okay, so let's go to the Confi UI directory and inside that we'll go to the custom nodes directory. Right now, there's just an example file is there, there's nothing. So we'll go to the Confi UI manager and copy this command. It's just the git clone command and I will paste it here that's great if I click enter it'll download the ConfUI manager inside the custom nodes folder we are now ready we're now going to the directory for ConfUI and if I press ls it's 
Good. Now, I told you it is actually prepared for Confi UI. So if you want to run this, you can, but basically you don't need to uh, run the requirements.txt. You don't need to install anything. But if you want, you can do that. I'm going to show you uh, how you can install the requirements. But you will see that everything is already satisfied, so it will not download anything. But still, I'm going to show you. The thing is, uh, we need to use pip command, pip install and minus r, and then the requirements. So what it will do, it will actually check the requirements text and install all the requirements with the pip command, okay? Let's enter, and you can see this is already satisfied, 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 so we don't need to do anything. We can actually update the pip. This is, I think, a good idea just to update the PIP, okay? The next thing is just we need to run the Confi UI for the first time. So the command uh, is Python. Of course, you need to be inside the Confi UI directory, then Python, main.py, and I will put an argument that is listen uh, so that we can use it remotely, okay? Press enter. And it will now check, you can see it's, everything is actually configured. The CUDA core, it is showing everything there. So basically it checks, it is checking everything and it's done. It's already started. If you click here, it will not work. You can see it is not working. So the process is you need to go to the pods directory. I opened it you know, to start the Jupyter Lab. If it's closed, you can again click on the connect button and it will show you this uh, pop-up window. You need to go to the TCP port mappings and uh, copy this address and the port is 17622. If you paste it and put the port number one, I forget it. That's my problem, 17622. 17622. Two. Enter and it's started. You can see it's started. So the main thing is you can see the manager is already there because we already installed it. Okay. Now, if I want to run this, it will show you some error because we didn't download any model. You can download the models uh, manually, but I'm going to do that with the manager, Confi UI manager. Click on the Confi UI manager and install models. And from here, you can actually download almost all the models, okay? So what I should do, let's uh, search for to SD, let's uh, see 2.1 or SD, not Excel. You can see there is a lot of model there. If uh, you want to use the Turbo model, I can do that. Just uh, install it. This is very big, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on the downloading, but it's still, I can fast forward it, okay? So I'm going to download the SDXL Turbo version one. If I click install, it is starting. So if I go to the Jupyter Lab, our uh, terminal, it is showing that it's downloading. So I'm going to fast forward this and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, so our model is downloaded. If I go to the Confi UI, it's showing to apply the installed model. Please click refresh button on the main menu. That's fine. I'm going to close it. And you can see it's still showing this, but if I refresh it, and it's going to load the Turbo 1 model. That's fine. Now, if I click on the prompt, 
it will take a little bit time for the first time to load the model and after that it will do perfectly everything you can see it's already there it's pretty fast and there is the output so it's pretty simple and recently I saw another option if I click here and auto queue and uh, just checking it okay landscape mountain let's start with it you can see they don't need to you know change the uh, load this again but it's actually creating continuously that's good thing that's really great so if you change something here realistic let's see what it will do it's still down doing this so for that of course you need to you know use uh, different nodes and everything you can configure a lot of things so that's the simple process to configure Confi UI on RunPod. Uh, if you just use the Confi UI came with the RunPod template, uh, I tried it. It'll not work with the Confi UI manager. Otherwise, you can, if you don't need Confi UI manager, you can use that. It'll work. But to get the best result, uh, this is the great best way to remove the uh, Confi UI came with the pod and download it again. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can use it uh, right now. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. That means a lot for me and it will give me the confidence to create more videos, uh, more how to's, more tutorials for you. And that's all for today. Have a good day. Bye.